Hello everybody, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Last time we finished up in Gloomy Galleon and finally unlocked a brand new world. In this part, we're going to be making our way towards this new world. Going off to a brave new world. So there was a rock over here that broke last time and it created a cannon, a cannon that led all the way up here. This was the last area of kind of my initial childhood, and actually, I don't really want to start this world off yet. No, I, I don't want to start this world off yet. There's actually a couple golden bananas I want to get really quickly in the overworld. First one is near Snide's Hideout, which is close to the Frank Factory entrance. The other one, actually I might as well get this other one here because it's closer, but... One of them is on the Banana Fairy Island. I was thinking for a while, like, wait, shouldn't DK and Tiny have a golden banana somewhere? And I was thinking, you know, shouldn't Tiny have one in the back of this island? Well, she does. I could have gotten this a long time ago, but I completely forgot this was here. I do kind of like this, though. Like, just make the game make it, wanting you to explore all your different options and look out for various stuff like this. I, I, I like that. I like when games do that. And speaking of games that do that, actually, in 3D platformers in general, yesterday was the start of the ukulele Kickstarter, which already has a crap ton of support. They have raised over a million pounds, and I'm using that term as pounds, not dollars, but pounds. That's a lot of money. Needless to say, I'm really excited. It it really does look a lot like Banjo, and for good reasons. It's made by the same people, and I'm glad that like the people who made like Banjo left Rare and f founded their own company. And anyways, right here where there's like a spot where you can fall off, and you'll land on this platform. And I didn't really know this was here until I, by ac I found this by accident, but there's a golden banana here. Anyways, enough with the golden banana shenanigans. But yeah, Project, or um, <coughs> Ukulele, I almost called it Project Ukulele, but that's what it's like, beta name was. Ugh, it looks so good. I cannot wait for that game to come out, that's gonna be... <coughs> that's gonna be such a great game whenever it releases. And, like, I feel like it's kind of the same thing with, kind of a, a random off-topic from Rain, but, like, it's kind of the same thing with music games now, where, you know, I actually, when I was at PAX East, I, as I'm sure many of you know, they announced a Rock Band 4 in pa PAX East 2015, and I didn't really, like, do much in the way of, like, doing anything, but I briefly talked to a couple of the people from Harmonix about it, actually, and yeah yeah go away I'll explain this actually once I get into the next world but here we go time to see what those furry freaks are up to oh, not a crown in sight where are they <laughs> who was that You get up there after him, but, but I can't climb. Then you'll hit hard, won't you? Goodbye. <laughs> Surrounded by fools. <laughs> I love that. I always love those kid roll cutscenes. Here we go, Fungi Forest. And this world is massive. <laughs> This world is completely massive. And it's kind of funny that I was talking about Banjo earlier because there was, coincidentally, I'm sure this is probably a really well known fact by now, this was originally not a level in DK64. 
This was originally a level in Banjo-Kazooie. But it was scrapped from that game for what I believe was time constraints, maybe space, I don't remember. But yeah, it was never used. And... I am not really sure where uh, where or what I want to start off with. I can do the... There's something here for Chunky. I could get this out of the way immediately. I'll hold off on that for a second. I want to... I think there's some spots where we need to open some gates up, so I'll do that first. So, yeah. I was... Back to my story about Rock Band. When I was at PAX East this year, I actually talked to... I talked to a couple people from Harmonix about Rock Band 4 and I asked... I think I'll go back to that bad habit again. I asked some girl, you know, why there was... Like, why there was such a wait, and I was saying, like, you know, I was kind of surprised. I remember when the last DLC for Rock Band 3 was American Pie, which is a fitting song to go out on, but I remember... That's what they did, and... I was wondering why they would have waited so long to reveal a new rock band, and it's because the market was oversaturated with music games for a while, and it was. Many music games were, like, released within, like, the years, like, 2000... Fridge, not, like, 7 through 10, roughly. A lot of them weren't even that good, but... <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of music games came out pointed, basically, and... They realized since there was an overabundance of music games that they needed to cut down on that, and that's what they basically did, and yeah. And then they figured it was a good time to come back to it, and... I don't know, this is something for Diddy, I guess, and I don't even think... I think it needs to be a certain time of, no time of day. Yeah. So you might have seen the gimmick in this level already. The gimmick of this level is that... Everything is based on the time of day, and there's a way to change the time of day back in the main, like, hub area type of deal, but I just didn't stay in that area for too long. So... Really, the only gold banana I can think of off the top of my head is something for Lanky. Or not, some, or not, not something for Lanky, yeah, something for Chunky. There's a couple others I can think of, too. Like, there's there's actually a lot of stuff in this room for DK, and... There's this question mark box here, which we can break if I can get on top of it. Alright. Actually, no, I can't do anything with that. I need to go see Cranky first. Alright, I'm gonna go do that, because Cranky actually has something really important for us that I would like to get done. And I don't think he's in this area. I think he's in a different area of the level. Which I think needs a lot of opening up, so... You know what? I'm gonna get the thing out of the way for Chunky. Because I can. Uh, do I? Nah, I suppose I'll do this. If the other thing requires Chunky, which I think it might. Because I think there's another, like thing on the other side of this gate that we need to open up. <laughs> There's a lot of gates at the start of this level, and overall I do really like Fungi Forest, but it's just kind of the last of the levels that I really remember, because... Yeah. I just didn't... I didn't make it here as a kid, really. The furthest I made it as a kid was Gloomy Galleon, so... And I partially blame that on the fact I was never able to beat Mad Jack, but Gloomy Galleon was still open anyway, so I went into that level for a little bit. But, yeah. And then when I played this in 2009, this was the level I stopped at as well for some reason. Because, I don't know. I guess I just couldn't figure it out or something, I don't know. And it's been like three years since I've played this game, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I can remember my way through it this time, so... It's fine, it's fine. Usually, like... Ah, there is something here for Chunky, though. Yeah, basically this guy's saying the awful tomatoes are attacking his home. 
And I believe we need to be hunky chunky to do this. I don't know where the barrel for that is, though. I think it's on top of like a. <clears throat> Screw off. They're not that much bigger than Chunky. You'd think you'd think Chunky could deal with this on his own, but no, he needs to be giant for some reason. Okay, here's a telephone pad. Oh wait, here's the Hunky Chunky barrel. And I'll see what Funky has actually. I think there might be an upgrade here. Yep, upgrade. Homing ammo. I actually almost forgot this was here, but yeah, we get homing ammo now. Collect red supply crates and start blasting. Homing ammo is a bit of an interesting gimmick, but I don't think it was done that greatly. Because there's no real way to switch between homing ammo, and that's the biggest problem with it. Like, if you have homing ammo, chances are you're going to end up wasting it. And sometimes it doesn't target the stuff you want it to target, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, this part isn't really that difficult, but... Yeah, once you do that, and this guy wants us to just transport him to somewhere where the banana's better suited for him. So, in a way, I guess this is better than how when everything was so earlier on, and everything was just being handed out for free with us. And actually, we just need to transport him here. Wow, this is nice. I could definitely get used to living here. And he'll give us a golden banana for our efforts. I guess not not quite as quickly as the first one we got in... Gloomy Galleon, but, you know, whatever. And as Chunky, we are actually going to be getting another one right off the bat. Although this one's actually kind of tricky. I'm... Not the worst at these minigames, but I'm certainly not the best, and as a kid, I don't know, or when I played this on emulator a couple years ago, I don't remember if I did this or not, but... Okay, scrapping my first attempt at that, because that was really bad. I lost this by, like, six coins, and I was hit a lot early on by stuff I couldn't see, because this is a really, really freaking dark area. I don't think that's gonna... I... Okay, first things first. I didn't see this bell here. So, I hit that damn thing. And then... Yeah, you're... you want to hit that. Because I was hit by all those rocks as well. Because I didn't see them again. And then, I was hit by this guy, I think. There's a funny cinematic that happens there if you do that. Usually it'll result in you getting hit, though. But yeah, you can get two of them for that. Then there's this part, which I just went straight forward in. It's nothing too bad there, that if you just dash through, you usually do it just fine. This part, you want to be sure to get all the bells here. Don't hit the red one, the Swalk said, because otherwise you'll regret it. Okay, got that one. I'm doing a lot better this attempt. There's this outdoor section here with all these trees falling, but it's not so bad. And this part here, which is pretty stupid. I only had like 15 coins at this point last time, so I'm doing a lot, a lot better here than I was before. We could jump over that TNT barrel. There's gonna be a guy coming up here in a sec, I think. Or like, right here actually, this is where the guy is. Yeah, okay, second time's definitely seeming to be the charm this time. I've... This is a way, way better run than my last one. And we go when you know it's safe there. This part, we're kind of close to the end. We have some more trees that are going to fall here. You can hardly see those, though, I bet. And you have to time that right or else it'll be hit. This part coming up right here where you can get a lot of coins. I missed a lot of these here. And, okay, this is like one of the last sections here, so... Oh crap, no. Oh, no! Oh crap. Um, I need a lot here, just to... Because we're at the end here. Shoot. Okay, um... I'm not being hit by this here. 
go, go. How was I hit there? That is... Uh, well... I still did it, though. That was close. As you can see, I was doing good for most of that whole thing, and then... I was just hit at the... Yeah, it's harder, way harder than the one in Jungle Japes, so I'll give it that, but... Eh. It sends you off here. Not really the best area to be in, but whatever, I guess. This is something Chunky can break, I believe. Yeah. Um, just looking around here for a sec. I want to find Cranky, but I know, and I know where he, I have a general idea where he's at, but I don't remember exactly how to get there, for say. I'm also missing one banana with Tiny right now that I know where it is. Here's an example of homing ammo. I'm not going to get it because homing ammo, like I said, it's a pain in the ass. I don't like dealing with it. Now then, there's a couple things here you can break with Chunky. Oh, hey. Ooh, hey. That, that'll be useful for something <clears throat> at nighttime, I believe, because... And we have a triangle switch. I believe this will starts up the machine here. And by machine, I mean the conveyor belt on the other side. Yeah. There's... <clears throat> something you gotta get by bringing all these... All the steel kegs to the other side. Really quickly, I feel like I'm missing a... One... A single banana with Chunky, because I only have 29. Although, to be fair, there's been times where I've seen, like, six bananas altogether. So, maybe, perhaps, I'll find some more. There's an area of the level that... I think, ev like every other level, really, there's an area that has something for just about every Kong, and I remember where that is. And... I've been recording for, like, 22 minutes. I think I might head to that area in the next episode and do what's ever everything that's there, because it's a massive area that has stuff for just about every Kong, and I think I'll feel a lot better about going there than... <clears throat> yeah... So... Oh wait, the stupid thing's not going great. Actually, I'm just gonna... Yeah, the thing needs to be going and I don't have DK's help. Great. Damn it! <clears throat> okay, well... We're done here for now, I guess. <sighs> now then, let's see where that area is and then... I might as well show what's at the top here. I, nah, I'll wait until later. Yeah, I think this pink door is the only one I haven't gone to yet. DK bananas, I guess. Actually, while I'm at it, I'm gonna switch to Tiny just so I can get that other random banana she's missing, because I just want to get that so I don't forget about it. You know, it's probably singing Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me As We Speak Right Now, and... Yeah. I'm trying to remember if there's ever a spot in this level that homing ammo is needed. I don't think so, but I could be entirely wrong. And actually, I think there's something over here for Tiny as well, but later on, or something, I don't know. So... Actually, we'll, I'll go to the next area and then I'll end the episode off, because, yeah, this episode, we didn't really do a whole lot. He started up Fungi Force, so that's certainly true, and we did some stuff with DK, or DK, Chunky. We actually got one of the, not the most annoying level in this, or gold banana in this level, actually far from it, but one of the harder gold bananas in the level, I'd say, out of the way. And, okay, good, we don't need to certain Kong to do anything. And yep, this level's called Fungi Forest. Next time we'll be exploring a giant mushroom. I'll see you guys for that then. Thank you for watching. Peace out. This is a tag barrel, isn't it? Yes it is, god damn it. Wait. <laughs>